In this video, I'll explain some of the basic principles which should be followed when creating a CNC program. On the left side of the screen is a small GNM code program to spot drill holes. On the right side is a list of some of the common G codes. All programs for Fino control machines require a percent sign at the end of the code and some required at the start, as seen here in the upper left hand corner. The second line of code is the program number which contains the letter O, then a number up to four digits long. And it's important that you recognize the letter O and the number zero are not interchangeable. Next are comments to help anyone reading the program understand the code. Comments typically include information about the part and customer and any other pertinent information you wish to convey. Comments are in round brackets and anything in a round bracket is ignored by the machine. The next two lines are referred to as safety lines. The first safety line will move the z-axis to its home position and the next will move the x and y axis to their home. The next line is also a safety line. It prepares the machine by ensuring nothing is active that should not be. It cancels the height offset, can cycles, and cutter compensation. It also ensures the machine modes are active, such as setting the units, the, the XY plane for arcs, the feed per minute, and orienting the spindle for a tool change, as well as placing the machine in the rapid mode and selecting the absolute coordinate system. As you learn to create code, it's important to note the order the code is in within each line typically does not matter as long as all the required information is present on each line. Each code contains a letter and a number address. There cannot be a space between the characters of the number and letter addresses and all letters must be in capitals, even in comments. Think of these as words in a book and each line of code is called a block. GNM codes are divided into groups. Each group of code performs similar functions. For example, group 6 has two codes, G20 work in inch units and G21 work in metric units. Group 1 contains all positioning commands. G00 positions the machine at the rapid rate. This is as fast as the machine can move. G01, linear interpolation, moves the machine axis in a straight line at a specified feed rate. G02, clockwise circular interpolation, moves the axis in a clockwise arc, and G03, moves the axis in a counterclockwise arc. When entering these codes, leading zero suppression can be used, meaning G00 is the same as G0, and G01 is the same as G1. The G and M code can be modal or non-modal. Modal codes place the machine into a mode, and once placed in that mode, it will remain active until another code from the same group replaces the code. This means the code does not need to be repeated on every line or block for which it is to be active. For example, the G90 here is active until it is replaced with the G91 here. Only one G code from the same group can be programmed on the same line. Otherwise, conflicting information is given to the machine. For example, I cannot program G02 and G01 on the same line. As G01 tells the machine to move in a straight line at the specified feed rate, and G02 says to cut a clockwise arc, this would be conflicting information as a straight line is not a circle. Non-modal commands are active only on the line they are programmed, and the machine will return to the previously active mode with the execution of the next block of code. For example, G04 is a non-modal command which tells the machine to hesitate or dwell for the program length of time in seconds. There are two codes which can be used to end a program. M30 will end the program and prepare the machine to run the same program again. To start the program again, the cycle start button is pressed. M02 will only end the program unless a machine parameter is changed to make it also prepare the machine to run the code again. So why two codes? Well, long ago CNC machines actually ran a paper tape program. M02 would end the program and make it faster to start the next part program because the tape would not be rewound on the machine, but replaced with the new tape and rewound on a separate machine, whereas M30 would rewind the tape so it could be run again. To summarize, all programs start with the program number, which has the letter O and up to a four digit number. Next, there should be comments and round brackets which help the reader understand the program. This is followed by the safety lines, and all programs end with an M30 or M02. 
In the next video, we'll examine the first three lines of every tool.